The Nigerian Senate has confirmed Justice Kudirat Kekerekun as the substantive Chief Justice of Nigeria. She is the 23rd person to hold this position and the second female to do so. Justice Kekerekun's confirmation followed a request from President Bola Tinubu, who nominated her for the role. The Senate, led by President Godswill Akwabio, suspended its rules to allow her to answer questions during the confirmation hearing. During the screening process, lawmakers questioned her on various judicial matters. That recently, very senior members of the bar, we all know them. They are fond of being on um, uh, politics today. They were commenting on cases that are before either the Court of Appeal or the Supreme Court. And, and this wasn't the case in the past. Uh, we, we are saying under your tenor, yes. will there be a procedure where you bring some of them to justice? Because they ought not to, because their comments and their analysis tend to influence the final outcome of those cases. And in most instances tend to uh, bring about injustice. Because they are not aware, they are not says of the facts that are before their lordships. Yes. But they will go out there, instead of arguing the cases in the, in the court, they will go and sit down on television and be arguing the cases on television. And for the junior lawyers, the younger ones who are coming up, they are now beginning to think that that is the norm. So if the court can invite, or even the NJC can discipline a senior uh, uh, lawyer who is fond of sitting down to analyze cases that are yet to be decided upon on television, in social media and all that. I think it will serve as a deterrent and will also be help to bring back the integrity of the judiciary and the judicial system that we are talking about. She emphasized the importance of maintaining judicial integrity and adhering to ethical standards. I think the first thing in giving my CV I said one of the things that I'm known for is integrity. I'm also known for being strict on discipline. And therefore, in order to ensure that the integrity of the, of the judiciary is maintained, I will ensure that the code of conduct is fully complied with. I will ensure that there is zero tolerance for corruption. Justice Kekere Kun argued that there should be limits in, on cases reaching the Supreme Court, particularly regarding pre-election matters. She stressed that such cases should conclude at the Court of Appeal. Additionally, she highlighted the need for timely handling of petitions by the National Judicial Council, also calling for measures to insulate the judiciary from external influences. After nearly three hours of questioning, the Senate voted in favor of a nomination. I am of the view that many matters should terminate at the Court of Appeal, especially into interlocutory appeals. There's also a situation where pre-election matters come all the way to the Supreme Court, whereas in national and state assembly elections, the substantive elections terminate at the Court of Appeal. I think all pre-election matters should terminate at the Court of Appeal. So many matters need to terminate at the Court of Appeal so that the Supreme Court can really live up to its designation as a policy court. Uh, put the question, will the Senate approve the nomination for confirmation of Honorable Justice Kuridat Kekerekum for appointment as Chief Justice of Nigeria. Those in favor say aye. Those again say nay. The eyes have it. The nomination of Honorable Justice Kuridat Kekerekum for appointment as Chief Justice of Nigeria is hereby approved.
appointment, Justice Kekerekun had been acting as CJN since August 23, following Justice Kayode Ariwola's retirement. She has served as a Supreme Court Justice since 2013 and is recognized for her significant contributions to Nigeria's judiciary. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.